Do you want to know how I make this very perfect homemade tuna pizza? It is cheesy, yummy, and crispy. Just stay tuned. Hello, lovely viewers. Welcome to Chummy Creative Kitchen with Joy. If you are new here, I would love you to subscribe to my channel. You're welcome. So let's get started. Here we have to prepare our pizza dough. In the cup, I have the warm water. I add the sugar to it, followed by the yeast. Give it a quick stir and set it aside. For the full list of the very ingredients, check at the description box below. In the bowl, I have the all-purpose flour, 500 grams of all-purpose flour, and I add the salt to it. Stir them all together until well combined. Here, I will pour in the dry ingredients into the mixing bowl, followed by the proven yeast. As you can see, our yeast is very well alive. Now I attach the dough hook as we start mixing together until they are well combined. Feel free to use your hand and your spatula to mix it if you don't have a stand mixer. At this point I add in the one tablespoon of vegetable oil. Then I increase the speed of my machine so that it can knead the whole dough together. Keep kneading the dough until it is soft and a little bit sticky. I stop the mixing machine then scrape down the dough hook now i continue to clean the pizza dough on low to medium speed using the dough hook for about seven to ten minutes Our dough should be ready when it is a little bit sticky. So I'm going to detach the dough hook now. And I'm going to grease a thin layer of vegetable oil inside the, this large mixing bowl. Turn around the dough until it's being coated with the vegetable oil. Cover with the plastic wrap. After that, I will place it in a warm environment until it is double in size. Depending on the temperature of your room, I kept my own for about 45 minutes. Here are the ingredients for the toppings and the tomato sauce. First of all, I'm going to prepare the tomato sauce. So for the full list of these very ingredients, I will put them in the description box below now i'm going to dice my onion with my food processor feel free to use your knife and chopping board to slice your onion for me i am comfortable with food processor because i don't want to shed tears <laughs> now i'm through with the onion i reserve some for frying I'm going to cut all the ingredients and pour them into the food processor. I will continue by blending all this together until they are nicely blended. 
here I'm using a food processor. Remember, you can feel free to make use of your stand blender. Now I'm going to add the spices, including the rest of the tomato and pepper. To it, I add the beef seasoning and the spices. Take a look at it. It is all blended together with the spices. In a dry clean pan, I will pour in the vegetable oil. Once the vegetable oil is heated up, to it I will add onions, the diced onion. Then I will saute this very onion for about two minutes, followed by pouring in the tomato mix. Then fry in a medium heat for about 10 minutes. Don't forget to stir it at interval while frying until it is done. Now you can see our tomato sauce is ready. I'm going to take it out from the heat, set it aside to cool. Back to the pizza dough. Our pizza dough is now double in size. I punch and fold it. Now I'm going to prepare the work space for this. by sprinkling the floor and first of all line up the pizza pan with parchment paper then I take the dough divide it into two equal size fold it like a ball with my rolling pin I roll the dough I roll it out Remember to sprinkle flour once it is sticking. So I keep rolling it in a circular shape. Then transfer it into a pizza pan. Remember if you don't have a pizza pan, feel free to make use of your oven tray. With fork, I pierce the dough, the pizza dough, so that it can bake nicely. I apply the tomato sauce on top of the pizza dough, evenly lay it round with the help of my spoon. Next, the toppings. Tantalan, this is mozzarella cheese. You know, there is no pizza without cheese. Eh? With a generous amount of cheese, I mean mozzarella cheese. Eh? Then garnish it with sliced mushroom. Feel free to use any toppings of your choice eh? or vegetable. Next, tuna fish.
here I have mixed chopped bell pepper. Then sprinkle finally with mozzarella cheese, a little bit more. My children like it when it is cheesy. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I repeat the same process with the other pizza dough and garnish it also the same way. I bake them for about 20 minutes. Now our pizza is ready. As you can see, it is well baked, nicely baked, brown and crunchy. I transfer it into a pizza tray and leave it to cool. And once it is cool, I cut and serve. My dear, this pizza is really looking so appetizing. I wish you would try this and enjoy pizza at home. Thank you for watching and see you in my 